Hey guys, this is Shanley, and today we are making something called frog in a hole. And this is what we need. We need one piece of any kind of bread, a cookie cutter, and if you don't have a cookie cutter, um, a, a cup would actually work. You just need something about that size to press down. And we have butter, I need one egg, and my spatula, and a small pan. And now we are ready for our egg. I decided to crack mine into a cup because if I crack it directly into the pan and I get some shell, it's gonna be super hard to get it out. So. And now we are putting our bread in and we're just going to let that sit for a second. And I have my butter, it is melting. And once it melts all the way, we can put our bread in. And there is my finished piece of bread. And we're just going to melt some butter in the pan and we'll put the bread in and go from there. I'm going to start just um, cutting the center out of the bread like that. Hey guys, this is Shanley, and today we are making something called frog in a hole, and this is what we need. We need one piece of any kind of bread, a cookie cutter, and if you don't have a cookie cutter, um, a, a cup would actually work. You just need something about that size to press down. And we have butter, I need one egg, and my spatula, and a small pan. This is not a banana. This is a plantain, or I like to call them platanos in Spanish. That is a banana. Very different. Texture is different. Size is different. Even the peels are different. This is a tough peel. And so we have to peel them differently. And that's why I have this knife here. And so we cut off the tips. And cut up the other tip. And this is where I'm going to carefully slice through the peel not cut the the I guess the flesh itself we don't want to cut that we're just cutting through the peel and I'm gonna do it on the other side and boom and then I kind of got not thick enough there so there we go and this time around it was super easy to peel but I do recommend getting some help for this because they can be a little bit of a pain in the butt sometimes. And so, easy peel. And I'm just trying to show you that it is, it is thicker than a usual banana. So I'm going to go compost those and take off the stringy bits off of our flesh, I guess is the proper term for this. And blip. Oh, and yes, before anyone says anything, yes, my hands are cleaned. I even washed the plantain for this because if you cut something, all the germs on the outside are going to get to the inside. And so after that, we're going to slice these into a little disc. And it doesn't really matter how thick or thin they are. I mean, cookie time will vary, but you just take the smaller ones out faster than the bigger ones if that's the case. But otherwise, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to slice them all. And they look slightly different than a regular banana on the inside. But not, not, not anything that I think anyone would notice right off the bat. Alright. Let's go. I have my oil here at a medium low heat. And so that's about a three on my stove. Um, it will vary on yours so ask around to see what that is for you guys and I'm gonna use a slotted spoon to put them in it might be easier to do it with tongs but I don't currently have any at the moment so I'll use what I have and be careful with it and they they don't take too long in here to cook uh, these are the first ones so they take a little bit longer than the other ones but I'll take this time to explain to you this recipe. This particular recipe is a Colombian patacon recipe, which is like a 
tw twice refried plantain and usually it's a savory type of thing and you would want to use a greener plantain than what I used. My original plan, which they didn't ripen in time, but that's okay, um, was going to do some El Salvadoranian fried plantains and which would be where I'm heritage from. Um, but I, I also know how to do some Colombian dishes because I have some roommates and they are Colombian and we share recipes all the time. But for a Salvadoranian plantain, you'd want a very sweet one and those get super sweet when they get like dark, like kind of how a regular banana does. When they over ripen, they get dark. And so this dish is going to turn out sweeter than it's intended to, but I still think it's tasty. But yeah, if you're going to follow this, I definitely recommend doing the original type of plantain. So a more green plantain would be perfect with this. Have it with a side of rice and any other dish that you have with it. Some meat. Mmm. Delicious. I have cut away so that now they are done. And let me show you really quick up and close. Let me just drain off some oil. And as you can see, nice and golden brown. Let me show you an uncooked one really quick. Boom. Big difference right there. So let me actually get these on my little paper towel station right here. There we go. And yeah, we're just going to do that to the rest of them. And after that, we're going to actually let them cool off and drain for about five minutes when they're all done. And I'll show you the next step from there. Alright guys, my plantains have been fried and they are sitting here on this paper towel letting the oils drain off of it, cooling for about 5 minutes and they are ready for this next step that I think you guys will like. Let me show you. I have my cutting board, my plantain on here and I recommended plates but I will use this bowl right here. And important, make sure it's clean because we're going to smash our plantain into a flat little circular disc, I guess you can call it. And so we're going to do that to all of our plantains right now and I'll speed through it really quick. All right, so back to our oil, that same oil from earlier, and we're gonna put our plantain flax. Well, I guess now we can call them patacones now. So we're gonna put our patacone pieces into the oil, and since they've already been cooked, they're gonna take way less time than before. And as you can see, that it's already ready to be taken out. You can see how golden it is. Now, let me just say as a disclaimer, that's not burnt. Remember that I said that my plantain is sweeter than it should be for this recipe? That's actually caramelization. And so caramelization is um, when sugar crystals start to like cook, they turn brown like a caramel. And so it just made my already sweet plantains even sweeter. Which, you know what? I take those. That sounds awesome. And there we go. I'm just going to do that to the rest of my plantains. And I'll show you the results right after. And we're going to hit these with a bit of salt now that they're back on this paper towel. And then we got to let them cool before we enjoy. And I hope you guys did enjoy. And thank you again for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.